There's a chance to breeze easier for hundreds of vendors at San Jose's landmark flea market. They've been anxiously watching the clock as they wait for notice as to when they're going to be kicked out to make way for a new urban village near the Berryessa BART station. But as John Ramos reports, a recent downsizing of that project actually comes with a silver lining. At one point, the Berryessa flea market was listed in the Guinness Book of World Records as the largest flea market in the world. It's gotten smaller over the years as development has nibbled away at the property, and recently they were threatened with complete closure. But now it looks like they'll be able to stay open a while longer. Sitting right next to the Berryessa BART station, the flea market property is prime real estate for housing. In 2021, the city approved a plan to build nearly 3,500 homes on the site. But with the cost of construction rising, the property owners changed their plan, proposing to build only about 900 homes. The city isn't thrilled about that. You know, if, if it means waiting a few years until interest rates come down and cost of construction gets, it stabilizes, I think that's the right thing to do. But in the meantime, those who make their living at the flea market have been kept in a state of uncertainty. There's an agreement that they will get a year's notice once a decision to build is made, and they were expecting something in January. But on Friday, the word came down. They sent us an email saying that the flea market has decided to extend the one-year notice. So instead of them telling us in January, they're not going to tell us until the following January. So it's like a whole year extension meaning that the earliest date that the flea market would close would be 2026. So the vendors have at least two full years that they can continue their normal way of life. For people like me that spend many years here, that's no more way to go. It's just only the flea market. That's all I have to, to make a living right now. So I'm happy. Rigoberto Gonzalez is the patriarch of the family's business. Here they sell brightly colored piñatas and hundreds of different kinds of candies imported from Mexico to fill them with. Piñatas are an important part of the Mexican Christmas celebration called La Posada. And on this day, Salvador Pedroza traveled all the way from his home in Oregon just to buy his piñata supplies from the Gonzalez family. It's special for uh, have here, have everything here for everything where, what I need for the posada. We've honestly worked here a lot. It means a lot to me because I grew up working here with my mom, my grandpa. The youngest member of the family is 12-year-old Genesis. She spent most weekends here growing up and was sad that a woman she called Grandma Jeannie in the space across from them moved away when word first came down that the market was closing. So a promise of two more years means a lot to her. This is a family business, so we've worked here for a while now, and just to see that we're going to be able to keep this, it's, it's really, it's exciting and happy, honestly. I'm happy. No one knows how long it will take to start building homes here, but those who spend their days at the flea market have learned to cherish whatever time they have left in a place that feels like home to them. The city says it is looking for an alternate site for the flea market when the time to move eventually does come. Now, the vendors say that the extra time will certainly help with that.